Right, the wording is a bit puzzling on this, but uh, it really isn't that difficult. What this means, the rate of change of y with respect to x, that means that as x goes up 1, y goes up um, half as much, so that would be 0 0.5. So when x goes up 2, uh, y goes up only 1. When x goes up 4, y goes up 2, and so on. We are also told that the graph passes through 0, 0, so that is that there. In other words, what this means is that the gradient is a half, and that's got a gradient of a half, that line. The graph passes through 1, 2 on this next bit. 1, 2. The rate of change of y with respect to x is, is always 0, so that's a gradient of 0. A gradient of 0 means that it's flat. So it's going to be that line there. Okay, the value of dy dx. Well, we're not given dy dx, but we can try and work it out. So um, dy dx is 6x squared. Um, now, uh, the x is going to disappear, so all that we're going to be left with is the a. Now, the value of dy dx when x is 2 is twice the value of dy dx when x is negative 1. So let's write out this out in algebra. So when x is 2, that's 6 lots of 2 squared plus a, it's twice the value of dy dx when x is negative 1. So that's 6 lots of negative 1 squared plus a. So 6 lots of, what's this, 4, that's 24 plus a equals 2 lots of this will be 1, so 6 plus a, there we go, 24 plus a equals 12 plus 2a, take away from both sides, and that means that a equals 12.